Okay, so this video is on Phantom Blaster Dragon, so let's just start. Um, let's see. This is probably going to be the first deck we see where we have a change in the ride deck, which is pretty interesting. Um, first card, of course, is the starter, Full Bow. It's just a generic starter. Um, we've got Blaster Javelin. And this unit is rode upon by Blaster Dark. Reveal the top card of your deck. Call it as Rest. And if it wasn't a unit card, discard it. However, all the cards in this deck are unit cards, so that's not going to be a problem. And then, of course, the card to ride into it, Blaster Dark. When this is placed on Vanguard or Rear, can Blast 1, retire another Rear Guard. Choose one of your opponent's Rear Guards and retire it, and then this card gets Drive minus 1 until the end of turn. Nice. Then, of course, it's other ability. During your turn, if your rear guard was retired this turn, this card gets an extra 5k. Very nice. And Blaster Dark can fulfill its own secondary ability, which is nice. And then, well, the new card for the Grade 3 of the Ride deck is Phantom Blaster Overlord. Now, I bet you were probably wondering what happened to Phantom Blaster Dragon. Well, we'll get to that. Its first ability is, if your soul has a Phantom Blaster Dragon, this unit gets an extra critical. So you're probably wondering more and more, where is he? Well, again, we'll get to that. When this unit attacks, retire two of your rear guards. Choose a blast to darken your soul or drop zone. Call it to a rear guard circle. And if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, that called unit gets an extra 10k until the end of turn. Very nice. So it gives you an extra attack. Um, now to the main deck. We've got three more copies of Phantom Blaster Overlord. And now, here's the four copies of Phantom Blaster Dragon. Now, we won't be using any of his abilities since he'll no longer be on the Vanguard Circle, so we won't go into them. However, he's here purely to achieve Overlord's skill. Now, I bet you're wondering, how does he get into the soul? Again, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, we've, of course, got three more copies of Blaster Dark. And now, the card that will help us get Phantom Blaster Dragon into the soul. This is Skull Witch Nemain. During your turn, if, you're, if you have a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name, this gets an extra 5k. Nice, since it's a 5k grade 2. So it's good that it actually goes up to a normal power. When this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, if your Vanguard's clan is only Shadow Paladin, counter last one, put a card from your hand into your soul and draw two cards. And that is how you get Phantom Blaster Dragon into the soul. Now, the reason why we have Phantom Blaster Overlord as the main grade 3 in the ride deck is because we want to get to him as fast as possible. Now, I could have Phantom Blaster in the ride deck and then ride up from Phantom Blaster Dragon normally. However, you could be just completely wiped up before you get the chance to do that. So, you kind of have to um, do something like this with um, the main and playing all four copies of your Phantom Blaster Dragon in the main deck. So you want to, of course, in your starting hand, you kind of want to see these two cards. And thankfully in Vanguard, you do get a redraw at the start. So if you don't see these two cards, like, you can just send as many cards as you need to back. So if you have a main or Phantom Blaster Dragon already in there, just send all other four cards back and hope you get one of the other pieces that you need and that's how you do that and that's how you achieve this deck's full power on your first grade three turn um next up we've got three copies of unnatural knight delbath yeah delbath during your turn, if you have two or more, if two or more rear guards were retired at the cost of your card with Blastner's card name this turn, this unit gets an extra 10k. Very nice. 
And then we got Armor Piercing Knight Mugain. When this card is placed from hand, if you have a Vanguard, if you have a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name, you can discard a card from your hand. Look at two cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to two unit cards from among them. Call them to a rear guard as rest and discard the rest. You'll always be calling the two as they're always unit cards. And this is actually another way to get to your Skull Witch Nemain, which is nice. So even if on the first starting draw and the redraw you somehow don't get Nemain, you can, if you get a Mugain you might have a second or third chance in order to get it. Um, next up, we've got Prohibited Sight Witch Ermes, I think, or Umis, something like that. Uh, when this unit is retired from your guard by the effect of your Vanguard with Blaster and its card name during your turn, Soul Blast 2, choose up to one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. That's nice, since we'll be having a lot of soul in this stack. As long as you don't soul blast the Phantom Blaster Dragon, you can use this ability. And I'm only playing two, since I don't want too many in the deck. Uh, next up, we've got four copies of another important card in this deck, Witch of Pandering Burner, or Bruner. If you have a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name, when this unit would be retired for your card's cost, it may be regarded as two rear guards. So again, that's important. Her 5k base attack doesn't matter as you'll be retiring her with skills. Um, of course, we've got the four perfect guards. Uh, three of the normal crits. Four of the effect crits. The four heals. Now, there were effect heals uh, added. However, I don't like them. So we're going to be sticking with the regular heals. Um, of course, we've got the effect draws. As you'll be retiring your own stuff, you want to be able to draw into more cards. Plus, again, this helps you get into your pieces that you need in order to gain the full power of the deck. So, that's that. And then, of course, the final card is the Ketter Sanctuary Overtrigger, where it can give all your rear guards the ability to drive check if you check this card. And that is it for Phantom Blaster Dragon. Um, we'll probably be doing one more deck, and that will be, of course, Majesty or Blaster. I just gotta get that deck all set up, and I hope you enjoyed this one.